so hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so in this video i'm going to discuss in brief about uh, the fifth sem syllabus okay as you all have uh, shown us the huge support in the fourth sem syllabus okay and uh, re uh, made us reach uh, around 5k subscribers now okay so now our goal is in this fifth sem we are we would be trying to cover all the, all of the subjects all of the uh, contents in a very detailed manner i know that in fourth sem some of the subjects we have uh, skipped it and uh, we couldn't do it okay so uh, i promise you that in this sem i'm going to try to cover all of the uh, concept videos of, of all the subjects in a detailed manner okay uh, including all the semi subjects as well okay so in this sem again uh, this uh, from fifth semester onwards uh, the real test start, starts for the students that is uh, they would be uh, mainly focusing on the internship purpose or for the skill levels uh, to improve your technical skill purpose related to that the subjects would be selected okay from this sem onwards okay so that's why there are no much calculation subjects or problematic subjects only based theoretically based subject but you need to be understanding what and all are the theory which, which are thought okay so those kind of subjects would be there okay in this fifth sem so in order to improve your skills to make you a better person while facing your interview round as you know that in the after the end of the sixth semester you would be having one mock interview in order to make you prepare that mock interview similar kind of subjects would be there where you should be gaining the knowledge and you should be taking all of these subjects seriously okay so that's why those kinds of subjects will be there in this sem fifth sem yet all of them are very important uh, some uh, problematic based subject would be there okay there are some uh, two to three subjects yeah so now let's discuss this uh, fifth sem syllabus now in detail okay so this is the choice based credit system cbcs scheme and outline based education obe for semester 5 and the first subject is technological innovation and management entrepreneurship okay as you can see that i have already told you right so this is one kind of a theoretical subject yet very important subject which you cannot be neglecting it okay each and every point from from all the modules you should be clearing it very carefully okay so this is the subject code here bec501 okay a number of lecture hours uh, in week is three hours okay and totally it would be consisting of 40 hours okay as you know that cie continu continuous internal evaluation and semester and evaluation consists of 50 50 marks and total marks is of 100 exam hours is of three this is a three credit subject as you can see here three credits for this subject so this is a very important subject so these are the five modules here okay so module one is all about management okay what and all are the uh, functions required in management that is nature and functions of management importance definition management function levels of management roles of a manager managerial skills so here you can see that it's uh, developing a managerial skills okay so second chapter is about planning that is planning nature importance types of planning steps to planning limitations of planning decision making okay this kind of uh, management as well as decision making is very important in order to improve your skills right so that one subject would be there in, in case of uh, management in this first model they would be teaching all about improving your managerial skills about and one more thing is about planning okay to improve your planning skills and uh, decision making skills okay in module one is all about this only okay Module 2 is about organizing and staffing that is uh, organizing means uh, you know if you are a leader of any kind of a team or any one particular topic they, they would be giving you and in order to lead before leading that team you should be uh, doing it in an organized manner so organizing and staffing okay meanings and characteristic of organizing and staffing uh, departmentalization committees meaning types of committees centralization versus decentralization authority and responsibility all of them they would be discussing in this module okay second sub chapter is directing and controlling okay directing and controlling means in order to give a, a right direction to your team or in order to control your team in a, in while managing certain decisions okay how to approach those kind of decisions okay behavioral approach okay the coordinative approach all of the things are very important so techniques of coordination okay controlling meaning need for control system beneficence of control essentials effective of control system steps in control process okay all of them they would be discussing in this module Module 3 is all about social responsibilities of business, okay. Ch second chapter is about entrepreneurship, okay. Definition of an entrepreneur, importance of entrepreneurship, concepts of entrepreneurship, characteristics of successful entrepreneur, all of them they would be discussing in this module. Module 4 is all about modern small business enterprises, okay. 
okay role of small scale industries impact of this small scale industries in wto and ssis concepts and definitions of ssi enterprises government policies and development of small scale sector in india all of them they would be discussing second is idea generation and feasibility analysis that is creative thinking okay that would be playing a very important role in this idea generation and feasibility analysis okay marketing feasibility market entry strategies financial feasibilities political feasibilities all of the kinds of feasibility analysis they would be discussing in this module okay so next module is about business model okay meaning designing analyzing improvising all of them comes under business model in order to make a, a business successful these four factors you should be knowing very carefully that is meaning designing analyzing and improvising okay next chapter is about financing and how to start a business okay so okay though after uh, learning all of this module in order to start a business after knowing some of the key roles as you have studied in module 1 to module 4 last thing we need to be knowing is about financing and how to start a business okay that is we need to be checking for the financial opportunity identification banking sources non banking institution and agencies all of them you should be having an idea about all of them and then you should be approaching of uh, for doing a particular business okay yeah so this is all about this uh, this subject okay so this is a three credit subject and these are the five modules which i have discussed in brief so now let's get to the second subject so now this is very important subject this is a theory plus lab subject okay three credits for theory one credit for lab okay the subject name is digital signal processing okay so this is the subject code bec502 okay teaching hours 3020 that is uh, three hours for theory two hours for lab okay 40 hours totally 40 hours theory and 8 to 10 hours for lab slots totally 4 credits 3 credits for subject 1 credit for lab okay CIE marks SCE marks total marks and uh, exam hours consists of 3 hours as you know 4 credit subject okay so this is module 1 year module 1 is all about signals and system okay digital signal processing all about signals system signal processing introduction to signal processing all of them then classification of signals the concept of frequency in continuous and discrete time sinusoidal signals okay so this is again one kind of a theory subject where you should be dealing with different kind of uh, sinusoid signals which should be giving in a particular uh, uh, radio frequencies okay for that you should be checking for different kind of signals and its uh, signal responses with respect to time okay so second chapter is about discrete time signals and systems okay we would be discussing about discrete time signals discrete time systems analysis of discrete time and linear time variant invariant systems okay so in brief they are going to be discussing in this module okay so stay tuned so module 2 is about zen transforms or z transform which we have already discussed in third sem only just uh, uh, a few more applications related to z transform we are going to see in this uh, uh, in this subject okay so this is uh, not completely max but yes some of the mathematical concepts should be coming in picture okay but related to that mathematical concept some uh, advanced level applications about z transform we are going to discuss okay that is properties of z transform only statements okay no for problematic uh, statements or problems okay only statements only the system function of a linear time invariant system second chapter is about discrete fourier transform okay frequency domain sampling and reconstruction of discrete time signals okay using this frequency domain sampling using the concept of sampling which i have already discussed in fourth sem we are going to discuss about the discrete time signals which we get from this sampling okay then the dft that is discrete fourier transform the dft has a linear transformation properties of discrete fourier transform periodicity linearity symmetry for real valued sequence multiplication of two dfts and circular convolution okay we are going to discuss uh, in brief about the convolution theorem in this module also okay so this is all about module 2 so module 3 about, is about dft properties discrete fourier transform properties okay that is about time reversal of sequence circular time shift circular frequency shift complex conjugate property multiplication of two sequences Percival's theorem, linear filtering methods, all of them comes under DFT properties. All of the DFT properties we are going to discuss in brief. The second chapter is about effective, uh, efficient computation of the DFT FFT algorithms. Okay, that is discrete Fourier transform and fast Fourier transform algorithms. FFT stands for fast Fourier transform. Okay, its computation in these between these algorithms that is direct computation, radix to FFT algorithms, computation of DFT and IDFT. Okay. IDFT stands for inverse discrete Fourier transform okay all about uh, in brief we are going to discuss some of the DFT properties and how it is applied in uh, different uh, frequency and time domain signals okay yeah 
so and also we are discussing about fast fourier transforms so this is all about module 3 okay so module 4 is um, mainly basing, basically the design of fir filters okay okay we are going to discuss in brief, brief about the all the fir filters okay how it is used in uh, different kinds of uh, connections circuit connections okay design of this fir filters in brief okay so module 5 is all about iir filter design okay module 4 is about fir and uh, module 5 is about iir okay infinite impulse response Okay, it stands for infinite impulse response filter format bilinear transformation design method analog filters okay iir using both the digital signals as well as analog signals we are going to analyze this iir filter in both the digital as well as analog and we are going to get with some of the properties okay okay that is uh, related to low pass and high pass filter and butterworth filter design okay this is very important butterworth filter so this is all about this subject all the five modules okay and these are the experiments okay they are basically around 12 experiments as you can see here okay and this is divided into 7 lab hours 7 to 10 lab hour slots okay all of these 12 experiments it would be uh, coming and any one would be appearing in the lab exam or any one can be appearing in the subject uh, theory exam as well okay? so these are the 12 experiments so now let's get to the next subject that is a very important subject and also this is uh, we can say that a uh, few of the concepts is uh, also repeated in this uh, subject that is which whatever we have uh, studied in uh, DSDV right in third sem digital system design using Verilog okay nearly 30 to 40 percent of the concepts should be repeated in this subject okay that is digital communication very easy subject scoring subject as you can see that in this sem this subject is there right digital communication this is a scoring subject okay so this you should be making a very important note for this subject because this is very important subject and yet very scoring subject okay yeah so this is again four credit subject no lab okay this whole subject consists of four credit only theory based okay cie and se marks are divided into 50 50 marks slot and total marks is 100 exam hours is three total hours of pedology is 50 hours okay since we don't have any lab here so that's why this is completely a theory subject without any lab and it consists of four credits okay i told you that the subject is very important this subject is very important yet very tricky and very easy you can score okay this is a scoring subject digital communication so these are the five modules in this digital communication first module is band pass signals to equivalent low pass okay we are discussing about hilbert transform pre envelopes complex envelopes okay envelope detectors band pass signals band stop signals all of them in brief we are going to discuss second is about second chapter is about signaling over awgn channels okay in brief we are going to discuss about this thing okay so next module is about digital modulation techniques okay phase shift we are going to discuss for more of the most of the phase shift keying techniques here using coordinate detection generation and error probabilities using a uh, uh, bpsk and qpsk okay mre psk and mre qm all of them we are going to discuss in brief in this uh, digital modulation techniques second chapter is about information theory okay introduction to entropy source coding theorem lossless data compression discrete memoryless signals mutual information channel capacity all of them we are going to discuss in brief Okay, module 4 is about error, error control coding, uh, linear block codes and cyclic codes, all of them, its properties and how it is used in different kinds of signals, all of them we are going to discuss in brief. Module 5 is about convolutional codes, okay, convolutional encoder, code tree, release graph, state graph, recursive systematic convolutional codes, all of them we are going to discuss, okay. So this is a very important module, okay, very lengthy module. Uh, a very lengthy uh, subject only but we are going to try to cover this subject in a very detailed manner so stay tuned okay this subject is very important guys once again i am uh, stretching it this subject is very important it consists of only four credit no lab at all so four credit and 50 hours okay so that's why so now let's get to the next subject that is the uh, four choice subjects in this in this sem we are going to cover only this subject okay so don't ask uh, for other subjects okay the subject code is dec 515a in this sem we are going to cover only this subject not uh, the other three subject okay first only i am telling you all okay so because uh, in our college uh, we are dealing it with this subject so that's why so we are dealing with only this subject that is intelligent systems and machine learning or algorithms okay so here uh, this uh, deals with the AI that is artificial intelligence and machine learning all of them in brief we are going to discuss in this subject as one side subject this is a three credit subject okay 
this also consists of uh, five modules module one is about introduction about what is ai what is artificial intelligence in brief foundations history of ai intelligent agents okay in brief from the basics we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence in this module okay what and all uh, components are required for an ai how it is used in different kinds of uh, systems and how it is used in the real life and uh, uh, codec life okay yeah ai intelligent agents agents and environment concept of rationality the nature of environment all of them we are going to discuss in this module so module 2 is about problem solving okay problem solving agents using this artificial intelligence and machine learning how ca how can we solve different kind of problems okay problem solving agents problems searching for solutions uniform search strategies breadth first search depth first search iterative de opening depth first search all of them okay next module is about informed search strategies okay here in this module we are going to discuss about heuristic functions greedy best first speech a star search all of them okay next module is about introduction to machine learning okay introduction to machine learning landscape in brief we are going to learn about ml that is machine learning okay types of machine learning main challenges required in in uh, machine learning okay differences between concept learning and machine learning okay how we can analyze this using a s version of spaces using candidate elimination algorithm and remarks of vs inductive bias okay all of them we are going to discuss in this module so module 5 is about end to end machine learning project okay end to end machine learning project okay so what and all the knowledge which you have learned from this module we are going to analyze this using end to end machine learning project okay working with real data look into the bigger bigger picture get data and discover the visualization of this data all of them we are going to discuss in this module okay so next subject is a lab subject that is digital communication lab okay the subject code is beecl504 okay this is a labor laboratical subject okay it consists of a one credit okay it is total totally divided into 50 50 cie and ice marks total of 100 marks exam takes of 2 hours laboratical subject practical subject okay not a theoretical subject and these are the lists of uh, experiments here in this two hour experiments one by one they would be doing in uh, in the laboratical hour time slots okay hardware experiments all of them are okay generation of demodulation of amplitude shift keying signal phase shift keying signal frequency shift keying signal all of them generation and demodulation all of them first three experiments and these are the other sets of experiments using qam modulation qpsk modulation qam all of them we are going to discuss in brief okay yeah in this laboratical subject so that's all there are some more uh, one credit subject that is uh, environmental studies okay then uh, some of the other uh, universal human values all of them subjects are there in this sem also that we will be discussing in a uh, later time okay so these were the this was the brief syllabus which i have discussed all of the important subjects what and all i have told you right in this video that all subjects i am going to cover you all okay so please stay updated to this channel okay so share share this syllabus video with your friends and tell them to stay updated to our channel because we are going to provide you all the brief explanation of all the subjects all the modules okay so please stay tuned to our channel hit the like button okay like us guys your support means a lot to us okay next goal is ours is 10k okay we are reaching 5k now but we in this sem at the end of this sem my target is that we should be reaching 10k okay so yeah that's all for this video like like the video guys subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so that you would be getting the latest notification okay so please stay updated to our channel guys okay thank you